Hello, this is John Brewer here with Kerbal Space Program version 191. Today we're experimenting with unpowered flight in Kerbal Space Program. This video is largely based off the video Scott Manley did a day or two ago about the version 19 release, which I found fascinating and wanted to play with myself. Here we see a glider I have on a rover body speeding down the runway. The glider is quite simple. It is a pair of delta wings uh, on connectors on a probe core with two tails and a couple control surfaces. We can actually get the aircraft to lift off as low as only a few meters per second, but we have a lot of runway here, so we're going to see how fast we can get it going. This whole contraption is run off battery from two Z100s on the glider itself and two Z400s on the rover. I'm not quite dexterous enough to transfer the electrical charge from the rover batteries to the glider batteries before takeoff, so the glider will actually be at about half charge when it actually gets airborne. Here we're coming up on the end of the runway. And about 34 meters per second. And up we go! Now I want you to first take note right now that I'm at about 130 meters and about 5 meters per second. We're going to nose down a bit to make our first turn. The rudders on this glider are bit weak, alas. So I need to turn by rolling in the direction I want to turn and pitching up, basically banking the aircraft uh, into each of its turn. It gives me this nice gentle turn, but it gets a bit squirrely given how incredibly maneuver maneuverable this very, very light aircraft is if I try to make a tight turn uh, or a tight bank using this method. One very relevant note here uh, even though I'm still in this turn, which theoretically should be costing me energy, I'm still at 130 meters, and I'm now at 15 meters per second. Uh, which <laughs> means that I am just picking up kinetic energy here. Now, I'm pretty sure that my airlines there are not flapping hard enough to actually be generating enough trust, thrust rather to, uh, well, now quadruple my speed, and uh, I've actually gained a little bit of altitude. Now, I haven't seen any documentation on wind in Kerbal Space Program, so I'm going to assume that that's a bug of some description. Uh, during the development cycle of this glider, I actually tried a lot of different techniques to get the aircraft stable and flying in a reasonable manner. I can't imagine how I would actually transport this to Duna or Lath or even Eve, where it would really do well, although I'd really like to try. I wonder if I could get it into the atmosphere of Joule. That would be interesting. I might have to try that in a later video. Maybe I can strap this to the bottom of a spacecraft and drop it as the ship does an aerobraking maneuver. I've only really had this design up about as fast as 150 meters per second or so, and that was during a steep descent. So I'm not sure if the kinds of forces of thousands of meters per second of wind uh, involved with aerobraking are just going to tear it apart or not. Maybe I'll try a uh, suborbital carbon flight and see how this glider reacts. That should be a novel experience. Of course, with all this free energy that I'm getting, I'm now at 140 meters and 18 meters per second. Uh, maybe I won't have to. Maybe I can just wait till this thing is doing thousands of meters per second. Anyways, now we're going to be executing a few turns here to line up with the runway and actually land the glider. One thing you might have noticed about this design is right on the back of the aircraft, there's a parachute. That's not a panic system, that's actually how I'm going to land this aircraft. Because of the extremely low mass of the glider, flaring just won't work to slow the plane down. I haven't found a good way to create flaps out of the stock components in Kerbal. The first few takes of this video involved a lot of this plane touching down at over 100 meters per second, and then practically bouncing hundreds of meters into the air. It was hilarious, but it was not a great way to put down an aircraft. I'll show you what happens when I make the landing uh, using the chute. Now, originally this was actually going to be a solar power glider, but it so happened that I opened my save file uh, and it was nighttime. So that's why I went with the battery approach. The RNG is actually produces more than enough electricity to power this glider, but it doesn't power in, uh, but even several of them won't power the rover. Uh, so I need the battery reserve anyways to get the rover up to speed and seems simpler and it actually uses less weight to just put the batteries onto the glider. Uh, speaking of the rover, 
The details for the rover wheels claim that they can get up to 60 meters per second, but I haven't gotten them much past 35 in any of my experiments. Of course, I've only used at most four wheels, so I suppose I might just need to add more. That's what a proper Kerbal engineer does, right? More! Faster! Bigger! Boom! Now, here we are actually lining up for the uh, runway. And I think in just a few moments I should be dropping the landing gear. Yep, there it is. I actually can't flare the nose here because I'll just send the glider rocketing skywards and it will not aid my landing at all. So now you can see I'm actually past 40 meters per second, creeping up on 50 meters per second just from my descent. Uh, fortunately, I have a lot of runway to work with, and once I add the parachute brake, this glider will stop relatively quickly. Here we go, and boom! Yeah, that's what happens when I touch down. Not exactly landable. So when we try it with the parachute, there we go. Nice gentle descent the last few meters down to the runway. I'll actually, uh, we tip backwards because this is a rear-heavy design. But I can bring the nose down so the front wheels will touch down and the brakes can actually do their job. And then we rock back again. Well, that is Unpowered Flight in Kerbal Space Program 191. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed it. This is John Brewer. Come and learn from my mistakes.